So XBLUE Survey Division is part of the wider XBLUE group. And we primarily concentrate on conducting hydrographic and geophysical surveys around the world. One of our largest clients within New Zealand is Land Information New Zealand, or LINS. Currently we're in Doubtful in Thompson Sound and we're conducting a hydrographic survey for nautical charting purposes, which means we're gathering bathymetric data to update nautical marine charts. Three eight five. Three eight five. Okay, thank you. Be slowing down now to uh, three point five knots. Okay, three point five knots. Okay, thank you. So what we're doing here is conducting some multi-beam calibrations. We do this at the beginning of and the end of each survey. It's important to us to undertake these calibrations in order to confirm the correct operation of the multi-beam sonar and the overall survey system. Doubtful Sound is a pretty amazing place. It's fairly untouched in terms of habitation within New Zealand. It's a fjord system, so it's a very large mountain ranges and very steep-sided cliffs with some very deep water. Primarily for this survey we're collecting bathymetry, which is sonar data. We're just collecting multi-beam data in this block D09. In order to keep the data consistent, we collect it with the contours. We've run our first line along the 50 metre contour and working down to the point where we can't collect any more data once it gets a bit too deep in the centre of these uh, fields. So what we've done is we've broken the entire survey area up into some manageable blocks. Um, as we complete these blocks, we'll just come along and mark them off just so we can quickly and visually see how much we've got left to do. From this data, there's a number of derivatives that we can take from it. It also provides us backscatter information and also information about the water column. We're also collecting laser data of the coastline. So we're not only mapping the seafloor, we're actually mapping the land as well and bringing the two together. So what we're doing here this morning is processing the data that was acquired on the bridge and bring it downstairs to process in the offline phase. So what we've got here on the system already is the final picture that we use for the validation process. So it's an accurate reflection of the seafloor in that space. So once we're happy that all the data in the field's been captured, we take the data back to our site office. The data is then further analysed and bathymetric surfaces are made. A report is generated that goes with that bathymetric data set and then that data is given to LINS. The primary reason for this is there's a lot of cruise ships coming up and down the coast now that wanting to visit Fiordland. So they're trying to improve the quality of the marine charts to allow those cruise ships access into some of these very beautiful parts of the world, but they're also very sensitive parts of the world. So obviously the environmental aspects are quite important to the major stakeholders, the Department of Conservation, Environment Southland, Land Information New Zealand.